Welcome. Let's start off by starting in the 2011 NBA draft. With the 11th pick overall, first round, Clay Thompson. This draft had 10 players that went ahead of this key piece to the Warriors' success. The Milwaukee Bucks held the pick right before the Warriors in the 2011 NBA draft. The player they chose, the one and only, Jimmer Fredette. Now, this wasn't completely the Bucks' fault, but that's because of the Kings ultimately wanting them to draft Fredette for them, which is how Fredette was sent to the Kings in a three-team trade. This trade was made on draft night, and the Bucks ended up with Tobias Harris and a few other players, including uh, Sean Livingston. The Bucks also traded a couple guys. This is beside the point because this all came right before the Warriors stepped up and, and uh, they made a splash, guys. They made a splash and drafted Hall of Famer, superstar, Clay Thompson. This draft was not a great draft, but decent for sure. With NBA champion Kyrie Irving going number one, Three-time All-Star Kemba Walker going number nine for the Bobcats, now known as the Hornets. And then the Warriors stealing a Hall of Famer in Klay Thompson at number 11. This all happened in 2011, so let's take a step back and revisit the biggest steal of them all. The 2009 draft held a gem, a six-time All-Star, a scoring champion, a steals champion, a multiple-time NBA champion, a five-time All-NBA player. It held a two-time MVP. This is all the same guy. You know he went number one overall, right? Wrong. First overall, the Clippers selected Blake Griffin. Fine player, but not a champion. Not an MVP. Second overall to the Memphis Grizzlies, Hashim Tabit. Wait, who? Tabit? Tabit played in just five seasons and averaged 2.2 points per game in his career. Ouch! Third overall went James Harden to the Thunder, which turns out to be a great pick, but also turns out to be a terrible job holding on to your Thunder. Also turns out he has nothing on the guy who the Warriors stole at number seven. Fourth went Tyreek Evans to the Kings. Evans was just recently suspended by the NBA, and then, at number five, went Ricky Rubio to the T-Wolves. Guess what? Next up, the Timberwolves at number six, and they picked Steph Curry, of course. Wait, Johnny Flynn? Come on. This has to be one of the worst jobs by a GM in the NBA. You have two picks right before the Warriors, and you miss on both? So at number seven, the Warriors step up to the podium and select their secret weapon that will win them multiple championships and change the franchise forever, Steph Curry. So let's fast forward back to uh, 2011, where the Splash Brothers were formed and begin to take form. Could you believe it if I told you that they were not always as dominant? Their first season together, the Warriors went 23-43. and 43. They only played 66 games because of the lockout. Steph and Clay needed more pieces around them, and this is exactly what happened in the 2012 draft. The Warriors had the seventh pick in the draft, and they took Harrison Barnes from North Carolina. Barnes was solid, but nothing special, right? Nothing like the guy they got with the 35th pick in the second round. Nothing like Draymond Green. The Warriors completely stole this guy, and by doing so, they added a third member to the, this already loaded roster. They now got their first taste of the postseason, coming in at 47-35 and 35 and finishing in the sixth seed. The Warriors knocked out number three seed, the Denver Nuggets, and eventually lost to the champion, San Antonio Spurs. Now, the season after this, they added in Andre Iguodala in the free agency, and the team began to take flight, or so you think. Ending the season with a 51-31 and record, which 
somehow got them the, the sixth seed in the West, uh, and also they were eliminated in the first round by the Clippers. We start to take a look back and wonder, when did this team finally get this dominant? Oh yeah, the very next season. Because after that first round knockout, the Warriors have not missed on the NBA Finals since. And have only lost one series in all these years. And that was to the King, LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016 NBA Finals. So, after they lost in the first round to the Clippers, the Warriors came back and won 67 games, and the next season won it all. The next season after that, they won 73 games, and of course won it, won it, wait, 73, what? They didn't win it? No, they didn't win it all. Well, then LeBron, way to step up. But every season since, the Warriors are undefeated in the playoffs. Nobody can take them down, and oh yeah, they added another guy, Kevin Durant. Good luck to all the NBA teams until these guys are separated. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And until then, thanks for watching.